So why did Johnny Appleseed's apples taste so bad? Let's find out! Hey guys, Tabby Slick here. Welcome to my channel where we talk about food, facts, and fiction. So we all know the legend of Johnny Appleseed, that crazy guy who threw apple seeds all across the country wearing a pot on his head. But is this the real story? Since today is National Johnny Appleseed Day, what better way to celebrate than to learn about the man behind the myth? Actually, Johnny Appleseed was the nickname given to John Chapman, a real-life guy born and bred in Massachusetts in 1774. He was really smart in his planting endeavors because according to frontier law, people could claim land by developing it, including planting trees. So by planting trees, Johnny Appleseed actually became the owner of a ton of land, 1,200 to be exact, and could then sell the land to settlers. As much as we love the old storytime sketches of Johnny Appleseed wearing a pot on his head, this is not what John Chapman would be wearing. He would, however, be seen barefoot often, so the stories didn't get everything wrong. Although John Chapman did plant a lot of apple trees, he didn't plant all of them. In fact, many of the varieties we eat today aren't the ones he would have planted. I know, crazy, right? Because the apples that Johnny Appleseed planted were known as spitters, and I'm sure you can guess why. Spitters were small tart apples that you definitely didn't want to eat, and they were mostly used to make cider and applejack brandy. So let's give apple brandy a try. Here's what you'll need. Apple brandy, simple syrup, cardamom bitters, ground cinnamon, club soda, something to measure with, a shaker, and two glasses. This recipe will make one, but just repeat and enjoy with a friend. So I'm not much of a brandy drinker, but apple brandy, if mixed right, actually tastes pretty good. And in honor of National Johnny Appleseed Day, I thought I would make up my own cocktail. I call it an apple seed old fashioned. So grab a shaker, fill it with ice, and let's get started. All right, first, you'll pour one and a half ounces of apple brandy into your shaker. So, one. Oh, it smells like apple. Delicious. And then fill this halfway. There. 1.5 ounces. All right, then the next step is to put your simple syrup in, and it will be one, one ounce, actually. So let's add one ounce of simple syrup. Oh, look at that. It's starting to look good. It smells delicious. And then we'll put a couple dashes of this cardamom bitters. It's very, very herbal. It smells delicious. Now we'll add a sprinkle of ground cinnamon. Oh, it smells like apple pie. <laughs> Make sure your lid to the shaker is on tight. And shake! All right, and now we will pour. But be sure that you pour over ice. All right, let's see how it turned out. Beautiful, look at that. And if you're like me and you don't like your drinks as strong, add some club soda. And then just add an apple slice for garnish and then you're set. So how will you be celebrating National Johnny Appleseed Day? Tell me in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Cheers.